The next pattern in the Simplifying Conditional Expression series is called Consolidate Duplicate Conditional Fragments. The motivation here is that the same fragment of code is in all branches of a conditional expression, and we should move it outside of that expression. So what we see here in this example is each of these branches of the condition has one statement that calculates something, which is different in each case, and then another statement that does something else, which is the same in each case. And so for this pattern, we're going to simply move that identical statement outside of the conditional entirely, and then remove it from those branches. And here we can continue to compress that a little bit. And essentially, that's the pattern in, in a nutshell. Now, there are a lot of variations that might go into a pattern like this that might prevent us from using it. For example, what if this statement isn't happening either before or after all of these, but at some point in the middle of them? Well, then we might not be able to pull it out of, of those statements quite so much. Or what if there are other slight differences here or there that prevent it from being identical in each case? But what we're moving toward in those cases are that these overall conditional blocks would be growing in their complexity. And it might be tempting to keep these isolated blocks because they're continuing to grow and become more complex and starting to differentiate from each other quite a bit more. But if this whole statement is growing a lot more, then there are some other patterns we would apply that we could make use of to simplify the whole thing. For example, if we wanted to decompose this conditional, we could extract this into its own method and then extract this into its own method. If these are multiple lines long, for example, if let's say each of these was 10 lines long and differed from each other quite a bit, then they're essentially their own stories of actions taking place in the code and should probably be their own methods at that point. But for something as simple as this, just moving it outside of the conditional works just as well. We would rerun all of our tests, make sure nothing broke. And that's pretty much it for the Consolidate Duplicate Conditional Fragments pattern. Thanks for watching.